What's up, everyone? Back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Wayland Brewing Company, and they are out of Orchard Park, New York. And this is their Nimbus, and this is a part of their Workshop series. So this is a hazy pale ale that comes in at 5.8% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. This can is approximately one month old. So got another Waylon beer, and I've reviewed a handful of beers from them on the channel over the past year or so. And the last one I reviewed, I think, was back in April, so about four or five months ago. And I wanted to review something else from them. This showed up relatively fresh. I'm like, let's go. So a hazy pale ale. And on the back of the label, it says crushable hazy IPA. It doesn't say pale. It says IPA. Extensively hopped with select Vic Secret and Rewalka hop. So whether it's a hazy pale or IPA, it's going to be a hazy hop for beer of some kind. Vic Secret and Rewalka hops. Well... I like those two hops, but I know a lot of my uh, beer friends, and more specifically beer tubing friends, I got a bone to pick with some Vic Secret and Rewaka. I know a couple of fellas that hate Vic Secret and then a couple others that hate Rewaka. So I'm not one of those people, so I'm really looking forward to it. And after I just cracked it open, wow, wafts of like pineapple, passion fruit, guava. That was gnarly. So let's give it a pour here into the Hamburg Brewing Company can glass. I never get to use this glass. You know, Hamburg, not that far from Orchard Park. I like the color scheme of the glass, and I just don't use it that often, so whatever. We're going to pour it in, and hopefully uh, it's delicious. I, I do like the can glasses, especially when you're using a 12-ounce glass. Um, a 12-ounce can, because you can get the whole thing in there. It's the beautiful thing about it. Oh, there's a lot of, like, goodies at the end when I poured it in there, so. Mm, interesting. So what does this look like? Well, that looks like, shout out to Joe over at Joe's Arcade and some other fellas. It looks like hop custard, right, Christopher? Or maybe... Joe, it's hop cum, hop splooge, whatever. Definitely has that milky uh, turbid, the tur maybe it does the roof of the turbidity through the roof here. Anyway, yeah, it has that milky, like yellow, orange color, very, very murky and turbid. Just over a one finger of this eggshell white or like bone white kind of a head, super creamy looking, fantastic. As I swirl up the head, like the lacing stick into the glass, or it was anyway. But that looks beautiful as far as like a hazy pale ale goes. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Hold it up to the light. Yeah, you can't really get any light through there. That's kind of wild. And again, Hamburg Brewing Company glass. I like this glass. I need to review some more Hamburg stuff. I used to drink a lot of their stuff. Just haven't bought it lately. And they are watching your brewery that I haven't featured in a while. So we're going to get something from them soon. Anyway, let's get a nose. Whew, yeah. Oh my God, that fucking smells delightful for a pal ale, or even if it's an IPA, sub 6%, this smells intense. This has the aromatics of something that's like an 8% double IPA. Crushed pineapple, sweet pineapple. There is this like sp spicier, like peppery mango skin. Shout out to DJ over at DJ's Brewtube, one of my favorite old school uh, beer tubers. Hasn't posted a lot in the past couple years, but I love DJ. He uh, posted a comment on one of my videos in the last month or two, and I uh, just love him, but he would, he would say like peppery kind of mango skin, and that's kind of what I'm getting here. Oh, passion fruit as well, guava. This is just like, I haven't said this in a while, this is a tropical fruit bowl of awesomeness. Some people would say fruit salad, but it has, again, sweet pineapple, Definitely passion fruit and guava, uh, peppery mango skin, maybe even a little bit of like a sweet citrus vibe, like a ruby red grapefruit or like a, a sweeter, like juicy orange. There is this, again, in addition to that, like peppery mango skin, there's like a spicy herbaceousness. And I do get that a lot with Rewaka. And that's maybe the reason a lot of people don't like Rewaka. Maybe that's kind of the thing that turns them off. I absolutely love it. Oh, man, this smells fucking dynamite. I can't believe how good this smells for a sub-6% Hazy Pale Ale or IPA or whatever they want to call it. Uh, it's funny it says Hazy Pale in the front that says Hazy IPA in the back. This is fucking this. I hope that the taste carries over because this is one of the most impactful sub-6% hot four beers that I have smelled in a very long time. This is fucking phenomenal. Aroma is a 5 out of 5. It just smells like tropical fruit juice like it's fucking for the style like these hazies you know I, and I, i've been saying lately like i don't love hazies as much as i used to because a lot of them are too sweet i hope there's a if the nose carries over i hope there is a substantial dryness or bitterness to kind of balance it out i guess we'll see cheers everyone the nose was better 100 percent, but the taste is beautiful and the finish, let me tell you something about the finish. There is 
a nice semi to full on dry kind of finish. It's not like bone dry or anything, but it's nice. There is a lingering like mild to moderate bitterness, more approaching moderate, and it has this spicy herbaceous kind of resinous kind of bitterness on the back of the palate. Really nice. It almost has like this earthy vegetal, almost like it has hot burn, but it doesn't. Body mouthfeel for something sub 6%. That second step was even better. The body on this is like higher side of medium for 5.8%. It's bonkers. Like it has a nice heft to it. The mouthfeel is spectacular. A nice mild to moderate carbonation, like smack dab in the middle. Maybe not as soft as you would think of something that looks like this, but it has a smooth creaminess. It's this is fucking, and look at the glass lacing is fuck. This, if I'm gonna get a hazy pale ale sub 6%, and this does drink more like a pale ale, while the hop saturation on the palate is definitely noticeable, might scream IPA, I just feel like what I'm getting flavor wise, which we'll talk about momentarily, is kind of why I think this is more of a hazy pale ale. Drinkability is fantastic. Forefront, bready, crackery, almost biscuity kind of malt. That's where I think the pale ale kind of shines. Now I do get that sometimes in lower uh, ABV IPAs, but it's a little bit more noticeable here. Now it's not too over the top, but it's kind of, hey, okay, it's a pale ale. Dives underneath the palate. Then waves of sweet citrus, ruby red grapefruit, juicy tan, uh, tangelo, tangelo, uh, navel, sweet like navel, orange, juicy. Definitely juiciness at the forefront. Passes through though, like midway through the palate, two thirds of the way through the palate. Crushed pineapple, passion fruit guava. That that peppery mango skin is kind of like the last thing that I get on the palate because it transitions beautifully into the finish where I get that spicy, herbaceous kind of resinous earthiness that this is now, as I'm sipping on it, mild to moderately bitter, more to the moderate side of things, almost hitting moderate bitterness and then semi to full on dry. So very well balanced, quite dry and bitter, for something that's 5.8%, but it actually helps the drinkability because there is a lot of, I was talking about sweet, juicy, citrus, tropical, you know, exotic fruits in this one, but it's fucking balanced. And here's the thing, it's not overly sweet. Like I'm talking about all those fruits, but it's not sweet to the point of, uh, you know, being cloying or just over the top, like a lot of hazies can be. One more sip and I'm going to rate it. 5.8%, uh, you can't tell. This is uh, scary too. It's almost 6%. I could drink a bunch of cans of this and uh, would not regret it. This is great. This is a great hazy palau. I don't give high scores at hazy palaus because usually they don't, they don't impact me as much as a hazy IPA, say like 6, 6.5% a lot of times. But this one is impacting me. Maybe it is more of an IPA. You know, the hop saturation is definitely pretty big. That bitterness is there. So regardless of whether they're calling a hazy parallel or a hazy IPA, this is impressive from Wayland. This is, this is the most impressive beer I've had from them to date. So great job to uh, the team over at Wayland. This this is, and you know, it's just a hazy parallel. We got a ton out there, but this is probably the best hazy parallel I've had from a Western York Brewery, hands down. Um, if you don't like Vic Secret or Ruwaka hops, you probably aren't going to pick this one up. But even if you don't like them, like I just said, I still think grab a single if you can find it here in the Western New York area, if they're still on the shelves by the time this review comes out, because oh, this is fucking delicious. So Nimbus, a part of their workshop series from Wayland, I go high 4.5, go 4.55. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, I just said 4.55 out of 5 for a hazy pale ale, hazy IPA, 5.8%, big secret Oaxaca. This is... Fucking fantastic. That's what this is. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted. Like, I'm super surprised. And I always say don't go into res, uh, reviews with preconceived notions. And, you know, it's hard to do that because with a, a beer like this, it's like you're seeing Hazy Pale at 5.8%. How good can it be? Fucking really good is, is how good it can be. So I'm kind of speechless and that doesn't happen here. I like to talk a lot. You guys know that. Uh, price point availability, $15 for a six pack of 12 fluid ounce cans. Wayland's a little bit more expensive. They're in the Orchard Park area, you know, down in the South Towns of Buffalo. Things get a little pricey, but I did get a single that I think it was like three bucks or less. Um, yeah, all day. A $15 six pack for something I gave a 4.55, like fucking yes and yes and yes. So uh, I can't recommend it enough for that price point. Um, yeah, I mean, if this was in, Put it this way, if you put this in a six pack, or sorry, four pack of 16 fluid ounce cans, it, 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 you would get A, 
eight ounces less. And I think a lot of people would pay $15 for a four pack of 16 fluid ounce cans. So let's say you're getting a little bit more. This would be more like a $14 a four pack range for 16 fluid ounce cans. Instead, it's $15 for a six 12 fluid ounce cans. Not a bad price point. Availability is Wayland. Western New York area, as far as I know, uh, you can go to the brewery. I haven't been there yet. I want to get there at some point. I want to do an on location. I got a new camera, vlogging camera and stuff. We're going to hopefully make that reality. So if anybody from Wayland watches, uh, if not, I'll try to get in contact with them. I, like, I want to go and do more on location stuff at breweries and bottle shops and stuff. So we're going to try to make that happen at some point. But uh, as far as I know, they're location and the facility is fantastic. So yeah, anyway, if you're here in the Western New York area and you can get your hands on Wayland stuff, pick this one up. Uh, I think this is going to be good for probably another month. I, it has such a bold hop character that I feel like this probably in another three or four weeks will still be drinking quite well, but I'm not sure. And just the, look at that fucking, that glass lacing. It's just phenomenal. It doesn't mean a whole lot, but it's fucking awesome to look at. So 5.8%, you really can't tell. I'm going to shut it down. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. If not, what's your favorite hazy pale ale? Do you have one? There's not a ton out there that kind of move me like this one does. I always forget the one from Dancing Gnome out of Pittsburgh. They have one that's really good. They do the whole day. I, I'm blanking on it. If anybody watches this, post in the comment section. I'll remember after I turn off this fucking review. But that's probably the best like hazy pale ale I've, I've had. A couple others as well. But this is, this is fucking top tier. Anyway, check back next Wednesday for another Western New York Wednesday. Until then, cheers.